Then let's uh, continue with the next um, inverter manufacturer. We have with us uh, Robert van Keulen, who is, uh, who is the technical manager at Grovat. Uh, he's an engineer, has worked in several industries, uh, now in solar and uh, is, um, is a technical manager at Grovat and will tell us um, about household smart PV pull solutions leading to a zero carbon life. Uh, so while our report is, uh, is on the traditional inverter without the battery, um, here we obviously also look a little bit into that. Robert, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Yes, let me share my screen with you all. Let's see. Yes, hello everyone. Yeah, like Michael said, I'm uh, Robert van Keulen from the Netherlands, a technical manager at Robot, and I'm excited to tell you more on uh, Robot's vision and some of our, uh, our latest products. Um, before I start my presentation, I would like to thank Taiyang News for hosting this virtual conference and giving us the opportunity to share this uh, with you all. During this presentation, I'm going to tell you on the importance of PV and zero carbon, and how our products can help accomplish that. Why is PV and zero carbon important? It's no surprise that the earth is heating up. The average global temperature has increased by 0.8 degrees Celsius um, over the past 100 years. That may sound little, but in fact, this leads to longer and hotter heat waves, more frequent droughts, and um, heavy rainfall and more powerful hurricanes. Another good reason for getting a PV system is the increasing electricity price in most countries and the decreasing PV costs. According to Storm Report, the average residential electricity price in Europe was 20.5 euro cents per kilowatt hour in 2020, an increase um, of 90% compared with 2010. But as most of you all may know, recent developments has risen the costs of gas, coal, and electricity to their highest in decades. The steep rises in European gas prices have been driven by a combination of strong uh, recovery in demand and tighter than expected uh, supply as well as several weather related factors. These include a particularly uh, cold and long heating uh, season in Europe last winter, uh, lower than usual availability of wind energy in recent weeks. On top of that, the prices for PV system have decreased significantly. Bloomberg NEF revealed the levelized cost of energy of PV dropped to 3.9 dollar cents per kilowatt hour in the first half of 2020. That's a decrease of 89% compared with 10 years ago. So now is the best time to spend, um, invest in a PV system. In modern times, we rely a lot on electricity to keep everything up and running. A power outage can have major effects. Earlier this year, there has been a power crisis in Texas where more than 4.5 million homes and businesses were left without power during the winter. The, the effect from this power crisis has taken the lives of 151 people, including 11 year old child because of hypothermia due to the fact the heating system did not work. During the crisis, some energy firms were able to pass extremely high wholesale prices onto consumers. As you can see in the charge, the cap of $9,000 per megawatt hour was reached at a certain time. The heating of the earth, the increasing electricity price, and the need for a stable grid are serious issues that matter to us all. In this part, I will tell you more on some of our products that helps contributing on solving these problems. Before I'm going to tell you more, 
Oh, sorry about that. Before I'm going to tell you more on our uh, smart PV solutions, I would like to share with you that we are very proud to have the highest market share for residential project, project shipments. According to IHS market, S for the market share of residential storage, we are number two, according to research done by Wood McKenzie. At Growout, we work hard to create PV solutions to make a net zero emission possible. Grow Home is a smart home system that integrates solar, energy storage, EV charger, water heater, virtual power plant interface, and other Internet of Things devices into one easy to use and centralized system. This increases a household's rate of self consumption and makes the customer uh, life more comfortable by automating multiple processes. Our hybrid um, XH uh, models can be used as a PV inverter uh, as standalone or PV and battery inverter at the same time. This gives um, the customer the option to extend the system with storage at a later time which reduces the initial investments, uh, but still have the ability to buy batteries and connect storage to the system uh, at a later time if wanted. Uh, the storage installation is very easy to do. When sufficient solar panels are connected, the uh, uh, Min TLXH model provides double the power to both the AC output and the storage output. In this example, you can see uh, we have a five kilowatt inverter with 10 kilowatts um, coming from the panels. Five kilowatt can go to the batteries to charge them and the other five kilowatt can go to the AC output for the load. This way, the customer can use the full power of the inverter for your load consumption without compromising the power to charge the batteries. The backup box is optional. With this backup box, the output switches automatically from the main AC output to a backup output in case of a power outage. Our Min TLX8 hybrid inverter is packed with the latest technologies, um, such as a, a high string uh, current maximum of 13.5 ampere. Um, and gives the ab ability to install high power modules. It has DC-AC ratio of up to two, which allows for greater energy harvest when production is below the inverter's rating. The AFCI and type two SPD on the DC side gives the installer and customer uh, a peace of mind, knowing that the inverter has these safety measures. We are also very proud the Mintia XH received the Publishers Pick Award by PV Magazine last year. Besides the single phase, um, we recently introduced our new three phase hybrid inverter, the MUT TL3XH. Just like the MIN, uh, the MUT has all the latest technologies. Both the single and uh, the, the free phase hybrid inverters are able to, uh, are able to withstand harsh environmental conditions uh, because both of them have an uh, enclosure uh, that is IP65 classified, which makes them uh, water and dust resistant. Both of these systems are compatible with our, uh, our ARC XH battery system. This is a modular, uh, modular battery system containing the power module and lithium iron phosphate batteries. The uh, modular uh, system makes the installation plug and play by simply placing the batteries and power module on top of each other. On this picture, we show an example of three batteries with the BMS power module on top. Each battery module has a capacity of 2.56 kilowatt hours. And depending on the type of hybrid inverter you use, it can reach a total capacity of 25.6 kilowatt hours, which is more than enough, even for the bigger households with high demands. The lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries provide all the benefits that these type of batteries have. 
uh, it gives you more safety, a higher power density, longer lifetime, and fast charging, to name a few. One of our latest developments, it is the uh, Thor EV charger, the smart EV charger, I must say. There will be a single and a three-phase charger available, both coming into two, in two versions, one with an integrated cable and type two plug, which is compatible with all EV brands. And the other version is with a socket to connect your own cable that came with the vehicle. Depending on the model, the single phase charger has a maximum power output of 3.6 kilowatt or 7.3 kilowatt. The three phase charger has a maximum power output of 11 or 22 kilowatt. The charger works seamlessly with our inverters, making sure the customer is able to use the surplus power to charge the vehicle and thus maximizing the benefits of having a solar system. The EV charger is AC connected. That means it can be also can be used without an inverter or even an inverter from another brand. But to make sure, um, but to make use of its full potential, it works best with a robot inverter. They work seamlessly together to get the most out of uh, out of your PV system. Besides the Thor EV charger, we also developed the GrowBoost. This is a, a smart meter, a smart heater uh, controller, um, giving the option to connect an immersion heater to convert the surplus solar energy into usable heat for hot water or space heating. The GrowBoost is compatible with single or three-phase immersion heaters. It has three independent outputs to heat up to two different zones, a continuously adjustable power control ranging from zero to 10.8 kilowatt hours, dynamic power regulation to achieve zero export. And like most of our products, it can be integrated with our grow home system to create a higher self-consumption rate. Because all of these products are produced by grow out, it gives the option to have a complete system from only one manufacturer. This guarantees the products uh, work seamlessly together. And if any support is needed, you only need to contact one manufacturer and uh, they can check the whole system. Uh, when needed, we have support teams all over the world to answer questions and solve any problems. As mentioned, the Thor EV charger and GrowBoost can be connected uh, to our inverter. For this, we de developed PV linkage. Growout is producing all kinds of smart devices for your home. Um, the PV linkage system is making sure it can be set up to your own preferences and maximizing the self-consumption rate. Besides the GrowBoost and Thor EV charger, we also have a plug, switch panel, thermostat and air conditioning made. This gives the option to connect almost every electrical device to our PV linkage system. So they can all communicate uh, with each other and use the surplus solar power. Um, we have two scenarios we would like to show you. Uh, both are actually working systems. So the charge and results are based on real data. The first one is a solar system with storage combined with the grow boost. So during the day, the surplus solar power will be used to charge the batteries to have it available for consumption at night. And additionally, an electric boiler uses a portion of the surplus solar power and converts it into usable heat. In this scenario, we have a four kilowatt solar system with 7.68 kilowatt hours uh, of storage and a boiler with the grow boost. On the next slide, we see uh, the difference before and after the installation of the system. Uh, on the left charge chart, it shows uh, a system with only solar with a self-consumption of 29%. You can see the energy is imported from the grid during the night to provide energy for the load consumption and to heat the boiler. On the right chart, it shows a solar system with storage and the grow boost. 
increasing the self-consumption significantly to a 94%. This is achieved by charging the batteries and heating the boiler during the day when there is sufficient, uh, sufficient solar power. At night, this uh, stored energy is used for the load consumption. So quite a big uh, difference before and after. The second scenario uh, is a solar system uh, with storage combined with the Thor Smart EV charger. It is the same principle as the previous scenario uh, where the surplus solar power during the day is used to charge the batteries and goes to the EV charger to charge uh, the vehicle. In this scenario, uh, we use the Thor 7 kilowatt single phase charger. And again, we have some charge uh, to show you uh, the difference before and after. Um, the left charge shows a system with only solar. Importing from the grid at night to provide power for the load consumption, resulting in a self consumption of only 31%. On the right chart, you can see the import from the grid is close to none. In this scenario, the surplus solar pow power is uh, first used to charge the batteries for storage and then used to charge the uh, batteries of the car. The self consumption has risen, uh, risen to astounding 98%. When you choose for Grow Out, it allows you to enjoy a smart and green life. By using our products, the customer can optimize almost everything at home, resulting in a comfortable and sustainable life. You can remotely access your system to monitor and control it anytime and anywhere. This can all be done uh, with just one app, our ShineFone app. Additionally, you can set up a schedule, create a hot key for different scenarios, and even control the system with your voice with the use of uh, a Google Assistant or Amazon Smart Speaker. A commonly known phrase, um, it's sharing is caring. And at Grow It, we feel the same way. Our inverters are compatible with uh, a virtual power plant, giving the customer the option to share green energy to others around you. For example, the neighbors. This also helps balancing the grid and prevents an overvoltage on the grid. We already successful work with different grid companies in Australia and Italy. Our Thor EV charger gives the customer different possibilities on how to use the stored energy of the vehicle. It can be used to power the load uh, consumption at night or use it as an emergency backup in case of power outage. At Growlot, we are currently working on the vehicle to grid option. Um, this makes it possible to export the stored energy from your vehicle into the grid and have it take part in the virtual power plant. On a final note, we would like to emphasize how important it is to take care of our plant. Uh, the solar industry has a huge part in realizing this and by producing your own energy from solar this benefits the environment as well besides yourself thank you for your attention if you have any questions i will be happy to uh, answer them during the q a and i will give the wet the word back to michael thank you thanks robert uh... Great overview, great solutions. And um, just um, so since since you offer so many, many things, it is so comprehensive. So um, how's demand actually for the for the full solution so that people not just buy the inverter or maybe the inverter with the battery, but also controllers, the option actually to to also do sector coupling and um, heating and uh, monitoring. So Yes, um, it, it's not released worldwide. Um, we have uh, released it in Australia um, and we get uh, more questions about it every day. I did notice on the, um, the, the exhibition in Munich, uh, there was quite a lot of um, yeah, questions regarding the grow home system, uh, especially the EV charger. I think uh, uh, electric vehicles are becoming more and more uh, popular and having the ability to to charge it uh, at your home 
with the uh, solar power, uh, with energy you consume yourself uh, or produce yourself, it's yeah, it's becoming more and more popular. And including the um, yeah the other products, uh, it's part of the the grow home system, uh, especially the the, the heater, uh, the grow boost. Uh, we did get a lot of questions, uh, yeah, regarding that product, but we still have to see. Uh, yeah, how much they actually sell when when they release. So, so, but what what's the answer? So you said uh, <laughs> you already sell it in Australia. So when yeah. will uh, European or American customers be able to, uh, or in other parts of the world, be able to to access the whole product? By the end of this year. By the end of this yeah, year, it will be released uh, in Europe as well. Okay, and then in the US, are there any plans or? Um... Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure on the exact release uh, date in, in the US. Um, I assume, but I'm not sure. I have to check uh, to make sure. Uh, I assume also by the end of this year, maybe the beginning of next year, Q1 uh, 2022. Okay, okay. Um, and, um, but, but so far at the moment, people can only by the traditional inverters but are also in europe or in the us or or can they also buy uh, one which is um, battery ready yes yes battery ready is uh, already available the one phase the mintio xh is um, globally available uh, the three phase the mod is um, available this month so yeah probably as the wholesaler and they will uh, have it available uh, anytime soon yeah including the batteries the batteries are available as well uh, globally okay and um, i think there was one question because you mentioned also <clears throat> vpb uh, vpp capabilities um so are you doing that already somewhere or is it just an offer um that's that's there but is it already happening are there some clients um, who really um, integrate it into a vpp yes um in italy and australia um of course we are um in, in contact with uh, with other countries for uh, implementing the vpp as well um including germany uh, holland and belgium for example but but yeah probably the rest uh, will follow uh, shortly after that Okay, but I'm not sure um, on the details yet. Yeah, there was one question also um, in terms of Germany. Is it compatible to um, to um, regulations? Are you aware of that? I'm not, I'm I'm, I'm not sure. Actually, my colleague does the uh, is in charge of the the, the VPP, um, but I do know we have uh, contact um, with, with the regulations uh, regulation companies in in, in Germany. To discuss and to have it available, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So we are working on it, and hopefully, uh, yeah, sooner than later. Okay, perfect. Um, I think um, let's continue, and then we um, talk again uh, on the panel. So for the moment, thanks, Robert, and let's uh, continue with the next presentation.